Hello everyone, my name is Nagura and today I'm going to be talking about the gearing system in 10.2 and what you should be using your upgrades on, your crafting things, your sparks, your crests, how the catalyst works and all that. Alright, so first of all, I'm going to go through the bigger changes between last patch and this patch. So we do have the catalyst available immediately as soon as the season starts, but the catalyst will not have a charge every week, but every second week. Then we do have less crests available in total for upgrades. So we're only going to have six upgrades per press level compared to the 10 that we had before. The mythic track is immediately available, which is not something that happened in the previous patch. So we basically have more ways to use our aspect crests on and not just uh, one last upgrade on uh, the heroic track on top of also, of course, the enchanted aspect crest. So the aspect crest will just generally be more useful. And the crafted items will be less item level in comparison to what they were in season two as well. So that means the Max item level crafted items with the aspect crest, they're gonna be three item levels lower than the maximum upgrade level that you can use your aspect crest on from the mythic track. So technically speaking, um, you can upgrade items to higher item level, then you can craft them with the same crest though. So you use the same aspect crest for it. All right, so let's go over what that means and what I recommend you do. Now, obviously keep in mind that uh, this is just my opinion and uh, you might, Think completely differently and also depends on your situation as well of course uh, if you're a normal moderator heroic moderator, just just play mythic plus if you're pvp or even it is uh, totally different depending on which situation you're in but i'm going to give you the general idea that i have and let you know what i think about the whole thing all right so first of all when it comes to crafting i do think um that it is a little bit different than last time around usually what you would be focusing your crafts on is the highest um value slot when it comes to main stat because the crafted items were such high item level items in season two that it was worth it to immediately craft a weapon or like a high item level like a high set slot like a chest piece or something like that now this time around though because the highest item level of the crafted piece is three item level slower than what you can upgrade mythic track items to i do think it you can consider not crafting um something like a weapon or a chest piece unless you wanted the immediate upgrade in that moment this again depends on you right the longer you can wait um with crafted items or to get an upgrade the, diff the different the decision is going to be if you want an upgrade in the moment then upgrading a we or crafting a weapon is going to be an immediate big power spike but if you get a weapon on the mythic track after you have crafted a weapon you could technically upgrade that mythic track weapon to three item levels higher than your crafted weapon which then in return would be better right so you do have to think about that that mythic track items can be higher item level than crafted which is a pretty important thing to know when you make the decision about your embellished items that you're crafting another thing is as well do you use your aspect crests for the crafted item or not now of course aspect crests create the highest item level for your crafted item but because again the three item level difference within the crafted item and the upgrade system um might create a situation where you think okay you know what i'm not going to use my aspect crest for crafted item i'd rather just craft the item without any crest at all just a base um crafted item to get my embellished item or my embellishment or you use uh, possibly even the free enchanted worm crest that you're getting from having 20 renown with the new faction now this crest since it is for free since you if you have the 20 renown of course uh, you're not wasting any of your seasonal cap of the worm crest or the aspect crest if you would be uh, crafting the enchanted one now of course it's a lower item level than the aspect um, enchanted aspect crest would be but as I said, uh, using the aspect crest for other things, for other normal upgrades would also make a lot of sense. One more thing to note about embellished items though, is that a lot of the effects are scaling with item level. So if you have, if the embellishment that is best slot for you is like a damage proc or something like that, something like shadow flame or um, toxic thorn boots, like those kind of procs, they scale with item level. Um, most other embellishments do as well. Not all of them, like for example, the toxic patch does not scale with it. But if your embellishment does scale with item level, then crafting it on aspect would make sense again, possibly. This is of course something that you have to figure out for yourself, depending on what uh, the best embellishment for your class is. And you should also sim it. Make sure you sim the difference between the, the aspect crest 
item level, embellished item, and the worm crest, and the zero crest, see how big of a difference it makes in comparison to, for example, upgrading a mythic track weapon to maximum item with the aspect crest. Another thing that you have to ask yourself, do you even have access to mythic track items, right? Because mythic track is something that only drops in mythic raid and in the vault. You cannot get mythic track items from end of dungeon chests from just normal and plus. So the mythic track items that you can get are very limited. And therefore the chances of you even getting an item that you could potentially upgrade to um, 489 would also be not that high, especially if you're not a mythic raider or you don't have access to um, high item level vaults either. But yeah, these are all considerations uh, that you should uh, think about whenever you think about your crafted item. Another thing to note is that you can, that the crafted items are obviously dependent on your spark mainly. No matter how many enchanted crests you have, like even if you have an enchanted worm crest and an enchanted aspect crest, it doesn't really matter because the really limiting factor in the crafted item system is the sparks at the start of the season. So right now we do have one spark to craft one um, embellished item. And the next spark, the next full spark, will not be here until the second week of the season, right? So every two weeks we get a spark and we can craft an item and that does take some time. So crafting some or even equipping some items from season two still to get an embellishment might be a good idea. Or as I said, saving the aspect crest or the worm crest to upgrade your gear normally and just um, craft the Embellished items with only the spark and nothing else is definitely something you should think about. And you should for sure sim your character to figure that out. Let's talk about what you should be upgrading. So since the crests that we have are very limited, I do think there's uh, some things you should consider when you're upgrading items. Um, first of all, again, thinking of the embellished items, safe aspect crests before you upgrade mythic track items. If you want to um, craft an embellished items on max item level course now uh, another thing you should um, think about is not wasting crests within the same track if you could potentially get an, a higher item within the same track right so for example if you have one out of four myth track which is the highest track but you have the potential to get a two out of four well, myth track is probably not possible let's talk about heroic track so let's say you have the second to highest uh, gear track um, on one out of four. If you also have the potential to get two out of four because you're playing high and plus or you're getting doing other things that gives you the potential to get those items very quickly, then you should maybe not use a worm crest to upgrade it from one to two. Because if you get that two out of four um, heroic track item soon, that means that you didn't have to use that crest. If you don't know how the gearing or how the upgrading system works, if you did not understand what I just said, then definitely go ahead and check out the video where I'm explaining the upgrading system in detail in this other video. If you understand how the um, upgrading system works generally, then you know what I mean, right? So you basically uh, don't have to use any crests if you already have an item um, in that slot on that item level, right? You only need the flight stones at that point. So don't waste any kind of worm crest or aspect crest if you have the immediate potential to get an item in the same slot that is higher item level within the same track. This does not matter if it's a higher track, right? Because if you, for example, have items that you use Drake crests to upgrade, but you're doing content that gives you the higher track, like if you loot items that are one track higher than um, that you can use Drake crests for, then you might as well just use the Drake crests because you're not gonna be needing them anymore. Right, so just always look at what step of um, the track you're currently in within the content that you're currently doing. If the content you're doing drops one out of four heroic track, or it drops one out of four um, myth track, then the previous um, crests are not going to be as important anymore. Same goes with the with the lower tiers, but the higher crests are going to be a lot more important, and therefore you should be thinking about what. Um, what makes sense for you to use the crest on and what doesn't. Another thing to of course also mention is that uh, higher value slots make more sense to upgrade initially, right? So weapons uh, make a lot of sense to upgrade. High stat pieces like chest, uh, legs, helmet make a lot of sense to use 
um, upgrades on is a lot more valuable than something like rings. Rings and necklaces are usually the least valuable uh, items to upgrade um, because they don't have a main stat on it. Now, it is also true that the longer we are in an expansion, the more valuable secondary stats are because of diminishing returns. Um, but it's again, something that you should be simming your character for to figure out what the best upgrades are. And then of course, um, cloaks and belts, something like that is lower value again, because they have just less stats on it in general. And if you don't know how to sim your character for upgrades, because it's actually a really good tool to figure out what you should be using your crests on to really sim the different kinds of upgrades, you should check out the guide that I put on my YouTube channel where I'm explaining how to use raid bots properly. But yeah, being able to use raid bots properly to really sim the different kind of combinations of uh, upgrades that you potentially can do is so valuable, especially at the start of a patch. So definitely go ahead and figure that out uh, if you haven't yet and uh, sim your character as much as you can. All right, then uh, one more thing I do want to mention is that you do get an additional heroic set piece from either getting ahead of the curve, so killing um, Ferrak on heroic, getting KSM, um, which is achieved by getting a certain rating. Now the rating, unfortunately, is very difficult to reach the first week because um, the rating with only 45 or tyrannical is much harder to reach than if you have two weeks, if you have both tyrannical and 45. I do believe you have to do approximately 21 keys yeah. to be able to get KSM um, within the first week in every dungeon, which is incredibly difficult. Um, so it's very likely that people are not gonna be able to get KSM the first week. Or you can get a 1,600 PvP rating, which also works in solo shuffle, by the way, uh, or in RBG or in arena. So maybe it's possible that the easiest way to get this tier piece is by doing PvP. Because um, Heroic for Rock is probably going to be pretty difficult for most players, uh, even for Mythic rating guilds sometimes. And KSM also really hard within the first week. So if you want to get the tier piece, it might be the best choice for you to try and get it in PvP. Or at least uh, think about it as like a potential option uh, if you really need it within that first week. It's also possible that it's that you can just wait for the second week where you can just get it through and plus when you have the fortified or tyrannical um, unlocked. Another thing is because of the catalyst, as I said, only having one charge every two weeks, it is um, very valuable. So not wasting your catalyst charge on something um, the first week might make a lot of sense, especially if you are not close to like unlocking any set piece and especially if you're not, or set bonus rather, and especially if you're not um, doing like the most difficult content within that first week. So most players that are not in a raceable first guild, the first week they're just doing, you know, slow content, maybe play your normal mode of the raid first and slowly get into heroic or start some mythic bosses, right? And at that point, maybe having the best Upgrades immediately is not as important if you're not unlocking like a two-piece bonus or a four-piece bonus. Now, of course, if you somehow manage to get three set pieces within the first week and you have possibly even have a myth track item that you can use the catalyst on, then go ahead and get that four-piece. It makes sense, right? But otherwise, you're using your catalyst on um, an item that is not on the myth track. If you have access to myth track items, it's probably a bad idea or at least you should be thinking about it thoroughly before you're using your catalyst charge because of course once you catalyze an item it turns into a set piece but it keeps the track the upgrading track that it's on so it only goes a to a certain item level depending on which um, item you're using the catalyst for uh, and because it's every two weeks as i mentioned earlier it's a little bit more impactful on what you use your catalyst on all right so that's it about um, the information and tips I have about the upgrading. Still incredibly in like a lot of the choices are really, really individual. And I hope I helped you a little bit on making decisions. If you have any more questions and you want me to help you out specifically, uh, if you've already simmed everything and you've done everything and you're still lost, then you can ask me a question below uh, with as much detail as possible might be able to help you out a little bit and if not you can always come over to my stream at twitch.tv slash nagura and uh, i can give you some tips or more information on the upgrading if i can maybe help you out somehow or maybe you're stuck uh, in in some you know, you're thinking about it wrong or whatever then just go ahead and ask me but yeah hope this helped thank you so much for watching and i see you next time bye